What is number two? Number two, I'll go for frequency. Mm -hmm. so when you talk about frequency, it's all about how you have splitted your program. Split size is a person who will be training twice in a week. There's another one who will be training thrice in a week, four times in a week, and so on. Uh, if you're gauging for strength, I'll summarize them into three categories, strength, hypertrophy, and endurance. If you are uh, aiming for strength, my advice is uh, thrice a week. You train on every other day instead of training every day. The reason as to why I'm advocating for so is because of recovery. So when you're doing strength training, remember, it's all about uh, recovering your central nervous system and now the general muscles. You understand? So the central nervous system is like the engine that will govern you in this whole thing that you're looking for. So if your central nervous system has it recovered well, that's when you uh, develop systemic fatigue and the localized fatigue. And you might start, uh, you might collapse. You have seen people fall on the stage when they have hit their PR. You might feel some type of way. You are strong, but you haven't recovered well. So you will not be efficient in your movements. And uh, also you're trying to minimize injuries. That's why I always call for training on every other day. Let's say Monday you'll be focusing on squats. Wednesday you'll be focusing on deadlift. Friday you'll be focusing on bench press. The prime movers are those compound lifts, which is the bench, deadlift, and squats. Anytime you're focusing on strength, we are looking at those three movements uh -huh. because they are more of, uh, they require a lot of muscle fibers. They require a, a lot of energy just to perform them. And uh, if you are aiming for hypertrophy you cannot be going all out because if i use numbers you have something known as one rep mark rep mark is the matrix we normally use to gauge on how strong you are what i've just pointed out on strength you normally use somewhere between 75 to 95 percent of your maximum lift and now when it comes to hypertrophy it's 75 going upwards so you can say 60 to 75 there this one you'll see it doesn't have a lot of damage to the body and to the central nervous system because you have a lot of reps in the tank. But again, we look on how hard you're pushing your sets. I always say try to push your isolation isolated movements like machines, dumbbells, all out. That is to failure. But anytime you're incorporating now those bench, squats, and deadlift. Try to reserve some reps in the tank because, again, you're trying to minimize that risk of injury. You're trying to maintain your form. And also, you're trying to prolong the so-called longevity. You don't want to hate the deadlift. You don't want to say, I hate deadlift because it gave me injuries. I hate squats because it gave me a, a problem with my knees, or etc. Those exercises people normally bring out. So they will uh, complain because of either recovery, execution, and uh, just how you've programmed yourself. You understand? So hypertrophy, let's say, go close to failure or to failure. Strength, reserve some reps in the tank. Endurance, you can do some now body weights. And you're trying to put something like 50%, 40%, 20%, and you're now pushing all out. Also, it depends with the muscles. You have minor muscle and major muscles. So things like triceps, biceps, you can shoot for high reps. Body weight movements, you can shoot for high reps. But when it comes to compound lift, you need to reserve some reps. And it comes to isolation using machines, you can get anywhere between 60 to 70%, and there you will see proper results.